What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with yet another NASCAR Diecast review on my YouTube channel. And guess what? It's going to be another promo car. So, yeah, I mean, I actually have a lot of promo Diecasts in my collection. I'm like, you know what? Um, I don't mean to flex a little bit, but let's go ahead and start the flexing, shall we, guys? But it's going to be on one of my all-time favorite drivers in NASCAR. And no, it's not Mark Truex Jr. or Ryan Blaney. It is the GOAT. Carl Edwards in his 2008 Save-A-Lot Food Stores Ford Fusion for Roush Racing. Um, in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. So, I mean, this car definitely has... I have a lot of memories of this car, guys. I mean, I, 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 I'm ready to get into to story time, guys, when it comes to this diecast. I mean, especially in 2008. I mean, I will tell you guys a little story about uh, 2008 with the Nationwide Series in a quick second. But... My God, guys, I mean, as you can tell, this is a promo car because it says Action Silver Series. That's how you can tell it's a promo. Plus the decorative box as well. This is the second time we've got a Save-A-Lot car released in the 164 scale. I'm also referring to, uh, I do not have uh, the other Save-A-Lot car, which is the uh, Susan G. Komen car uh, that Carl Edwards drove in 2009. So, but I got this for free from uh, my good buddy, Race Day, 20, Race, Day 20, Race Day 2011. Holy crap, I can't talk right now. You know who he is, Robbie Noonan. <laughs> um, we got this uh, during uh, one of our little Christmas exchanges that we do every year. Um, we, My God, I, we've got to do that again, guys, because that was a lot of fun. But, uh, anyways, what, why am I talking about Christmas? It's freaking March, Brian. Let's go and kick off this iCast view and the professional unboxing of the Carl Leverage 2008 Save a Lot Ford Fusion. Alrighty guys, we got the diecast out of the box, and here we guys go. We are about to get things started with this diecast view of the Carl Leverage 2008 Save a Lot Food Stores Ford Fusion for Roush Fenway Racing. And my god, guys, this is a really cool looking car, guys. I mean, it almost kind of has like a patriotic vibe to it, guys, as you can tell with the, the cars all white, and then you got, you know, the uh, Save a Lot um, the sponsorship with the little, um, you know, um, grooves or whooshes almost kind of looks like a racetrack which i think that's pretty cool um <laughs> but um yeah carl Edwards, i believe drove this car for 12 races and i think he won in three of those i mean he had a pretty good dominant season after winning the 2007 um bush series championship as you guys know 2008 was the year they had a new title sponsor which was nationwide insurance so yeah guys and a little fun fact as well guys i actually uh went to my first nascar race which was not a cup series race it was it was the 2008 um uh, it was the 2008 Meyer 300 uh, uh, presented by Oreo. It was the nationwide race, which was, I mean, if you guys know your NASCAR uh, history, you guys might know that a certain someone, Joey Logano, got his first ever win in NASCAR in the nationwide series. So, I mean, that was before I became a Logano hater. I mean, no offense to Logano fans, but I am a Logano hater. But that was a cool experience. And... My God, I really need to find that GameStop car, guys. Even though I just said I don't like Logano, but my God, guys, I mean, that having a die cast of your first NASCAR race you went to is pretty damn cool. So I'm going to be on the hunt for finding that. I mean, I know Winter Circles made that car as well. But anyways, I mean, soft topic, back to talk uh, to my favorite driver, Carl Edwards, guys. I mean, before Ryan Blaney and Mark Truex Jr. became my favorites, um, Carl Edwards, guys. I mean, I didn't really become a Carl Edwards fan until 2010 because... Um, I was a Dale Jr. fan from 2001 to 2008, and then 2009, I stopped watching NASCAR entirely because I was just, I don't know, tired of it, and then 2010, I came back, and then I became an Edwards fan, so, but this is a really cool car, guys. I mean, I know this car is kind of infamously, it, it, it's, it's kind of infa infamously famous for crashing at Talladega. Thank you, Kevin LePage. <laughs> Kevin LePage kind of, you know, made a... Uh, it was, I think it was his rookie season in the in the uh, Nationwide Series, and he made a big oopsie daisy and caused a 15 car pileup, and this guy was one of them. Barbara though, Carl Edwards did redeem himself, and like I said, he did won seven races in this um, in this car. I mean, back before the 60 car was dominant and ran very well. I mean, the 60 car, you know, won championships before, you know, with Biffle, Edwards, and even Chris Buescher. I mean, it's a shame what happened to the 60 car guys in its final year, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a lot of positive things. But this car won, I believe, at Milwaukee, um, Gateway, and the finale race, which is Homestead. So, yeah, this is definitely a car I recommend for all the Carl Edwards fans out there. And look at that, guys. I do miss that nationwide printing right there. Right before we had the name banners, we had that, and that was so simple. However, though, my only gripe about this, since it is a promo, as you see right there, there's not much tooling or detail where the Ford grill is. It's all flat. Like, you know how there's usually, like, you know, everything's all 3D and it sticks out? 
This is on the generic promo mold, all right? I gotta give a quick shout out to Wimmer33 fan on Instagram. Um, he, he had a YouTube channel and I did some research about this car and um, he mentioned that on his old video, Wimmer uh, Fan TV, I think. Um, God, I, I remember even when Phantom 21 did a diecast review of this car, I was like, man, I mean, my God, diecast reviews are so simpler and just, you know, just basic back then, guys. I mean, just shows you how far we come with the diecast reviews. And glad we still got many people like myself, Racing 2011 and Diecast Buffet, still providing you guys entertaining diecast reviews and... My God, this is just a great car to look at from the back, from uh, you know, from the past. And if you guys also look pretty closely, I mean, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up, but where these uh, stars are, I believe these have a metallic finish to them. That or they're very reflective. I mean, you see right there, they're very reflective, kind of like a sticker, kind of. I don't know. Either they're very reflective or they have a metallic finish to them. But either way, I'm digging that, and that looks really cool. There's even detail right there on the uh, window, on the back windows. So that is for a generic promo diecast. I mean, that is some really good quality detail right there. So got to give it to um, X Race Collectibles for that. Um, but this is yet another car that is um, starting to get a little hard to find. And I'm glad. I hate to sound like a cheap sucker, but I'm glad I got this for free. So thank you, Rob. <laughs> But yeah, this is such a great looking diecast, guys. I, I mean, it's so simple. You can almost mistake it for a patriotic car. And I love it. I absolutely love it, guys. This is just a really cool diecast, guys. I mean, if you're a big Carl Arts fans out there, I definitely recommend you guys checking uh, checking this car out. And I mean, heck, even if you check it out, you might as well buy this sucker because it is a pretty rare car. <laughs> but I'm hoping I can do more of these Carl Lever diecast views. I have a lot of cool... Uh, Car lover side cast, I, I am willing to show off. So this is one of them in particular. But yeah, guys, I definitely recommend getting this car, guys. I mean, you might get lucky and find this car for dirt cheap, but I mean, it might be on eBay. Who knows? But yeah, guys, I what a solid looking car, guys. I love this car a lot, and um, my God, guys, hoping to you guys with some more Carl Everts content along this way. If you guys have any suggestions on what Carl Everts side cast I want to review next. Feel free to comment down below, and maybe I might have it. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this Diecast review of the Carl Everts 2008 Save-A-Lot Food Stores Ford Fusion for Roush Roush Racing in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. I almost screwed that up. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will catch you guys hopefully on another entertaining Diecast review.